Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in this whole video we're going to check into the 25th uh, of uh, June 2022 and what this uh, tarot has in store for us for that particular day but before we get there, uh, if you find yourself interested in a personal reading with me or if you do want to take uh, my tarot classes, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you will see a link to my website where you're going to find literally everything you need, how to contact me or a get uh, or make a purchase. So with that said, let's uh, check out on uh, today's uh, cards. In the first one, this is going to be the Eight of uh, Wands. Followed on on the second card, which stands as uh, the Magician card. And the final one for the day, that will happen to be the uh, seven here, seven. Uh, oh, uh, that's not a seven, it's the five of swords, I'm sorry. So that uh, happens to be the five of swords. And as an elemental dignity, this is how they stand here. The day has a, has a motto, it has a slogan, a mantra. And that is that it's a day where we have to do something for ourselves, make a decision that benefits us or, you know, initiate kind of like an enterprise or an endeavor that it is a specifically ours, that it is unique to us, that is. And this is the main course of the day itself. And we will have more, more than just only one chance to do that, right? So if you miss your first one because of the circumstances are not okay mm -hmm. or they are not ideal, uh, you will have another one and then another one and so on and so forth. This is going to be a day that uh, there are going to be a lot of dynamics out there. There are going to be a lot of things moving around mm -hmm. and it will feel like if it doesn't happen at, at 9 a.m., you always have a chance to do it at 1 p.m., for example, whatever uh, whatever you have decided to do for yourself. Important thing to note is that throughout the day, there are going to be quite a few openings there, right? And, and opportunities, if you want to say it that way. Well, pretty much how you can imagine the whole thing that is going to take place is now imagine that life is like a river, right? It's like, it's like a stream. And you are finding yourself right now in the very middle of that stream. And um, along the current, there are logs floating and every single log it's um it's an opportunity and you're sitting in the middle of that stream and you get to decide which which log you're gonna ride the river with okay important thing to know here uh is that not every single one of them it's equally good. They are all good, but not every single one of them. It's equally good. And because we will have the luxury to choose, it will be quite important that we are able to... How can I put it into words? Um, it's not even about analyzing. It's more about a facing those opportunities with clear-headed mind so we don't shoot ourselves in the foot or rather like instead of uh, arriving with a plane on our final destination or our next destination, so to speak, we are to arrive there on a bicycle, right? So that will be literally the difference. Uh, <clears throat> Another thing that uh, we need to know for throughout the day or rather like what we should put attention into is that uh, these are a very personal opportunities. And although we may want to share the the blessing and the good time and etc etc uh it's it, it's not always going to be possible and that may i don't want to say get us into conflict with other people around us it is just it's very uh, very possible that there could be jealousy or disingenuous happiness like someone says that it's happy for you but they are actually not that happy uh happy for uh for you for us for all of us. And that comes from this elemental dignity that we do have here, the five of swords and the eight of wands. And pretty much those uh, two cards are speaking for two things. Like I said, one is the opportunities and our personal ability to be good in every single one of it. 
Okay, every single one of it is going to happen to be a successful one. How successful? Well, that depends how how much we are true to ourselves about our own personal capabilities. Okay, how good we are going to perform into one thing or another. But the next thing it is that it will cost us something, and pr primarily that cost is going to come in uh, in relationships because. It's just is going to undermine trust and that's kind of unfair, but life is unfair. Just because you decide to do something for yourself, uh, it's kind of like it's going to undermine the trust that someone has in you. But then again, what are you for them, right? If you are just a tool and they cannot trust that tool anymore because that tool is not use of them any longer. Well, then by all by all means, I will give away that trust every single day but like i said the situation is going to be very very different for uh every single one of us so important thing once again with that elemental dignity guys be acknowledgeable for how far and how much you can have how far you can go and how much you can handle the other elemental dignity is far better that we do have uh, in between these uh, these two cards. So the Eight of uh, Wands and the Magician card. And that is uh, the elemental dignity showing that if it doesn't happen at the morning, we will have the chance to do it uh, at the noon or the afternoon. It's basically, that is our day, okay? And with these two cards, it's pretty much whatever we want, whatever we say goes. But the best way to use that energy, really, it is for a couple, for for three things. The first is building up our own personal status, building up our own personal sovereignty, defining our place. So, if um, how can I put it into words? If right now people doesn't respect you at your job. At this day, 25th of June, you can definitely make people respect you through your actions, through your words. And now that I am at the words, that is a very good day to make a point across. It's just that is a day where people are going to listen and you can try to explain that point from a few different angles. And it seems that this time around, people are going to fathom. And uh, the third thing, it is that whenever we do something, whether we decide something or we make, an, uh, we make a move, we file a motion, it doesn't matter what purpose or rather like, uh, how can I put it into words, under what circumstances we do it, right? And what impression we do have about it within ourselves, from a side, when, when others look at us, it will look like we really, and I mean really, mean it so bear in mind that your words our words and our actions mm -hmm. are going to be remembered in that particular day so don't do something or say something that you will regret later and uh, for those who are single these cards have a rather very strong incentive as well and what they show it is that it's highly likely throughout the day that you are going to see someone rather like or realize that there is someone around you that likes you for who you are or the very least has a potential to like for things or rather like to like you for who you are so things that are, are under normal circumstances aggravate other people that one can handle with ease no problem whatsoever so with that said guys this was the daily tarot guidance for june 25th uh 2022 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh we are gonna see each other next time until then bye